Alan, during the campaign, it was said that the way to understand the president or now president, is uh, to take him seriously, but not literally. So based on what you've observed from the White House, do you take his comments that he's still considering changes to interest rate deduction and corporate taxes seriously or literally? I think anyone who takes him seriously is, you know, not watching the news actively enough, not watching their Bloomberg every day. I mean, I think it's very hard to take him seriously about anything. So not literally, not seriously. Yeah, I just think it's, you just don't know what's going to pop up the next moment. So from where you sit then, what is the likelihood of carried interest reform? I don't think, frankly, that issue is going to depend on him. He said he's in favor of uh, carried interest reform, but this has been a political football. Uh, some of my good Democrat friends have not been supportive to the position of changing it to ordinary income. Uh, and there, there's no question in people who really are honest with themselves that it is ordinary income and it's always been ordinary income and it's not going to change. And uh, it's not, it's not going to, characteristics is not going to change. Mm. Now, whether the tax, re, the tax bill will change, uh, it may get included. I hope it does. Uh, but again, it gets down to politics. You said it's not going to depend on Donald Trump. Who does it depend on then? Is it Congress. the power of the lobbyists? Yeah, Congress? lobbyists and how they affect the congressmen and senators. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I think anyone who's off, off the record, speaking sotto voce, they would say uh, clearly it's ordinary income. And of course, right now it's taxed as uh, capital gains rather yes. than ordinary income, yes. which is a lot lower tax rate. Now, the number crunchers who look at all this, and this is something you pointed out in your op-ed from last year, is that uh, carried interest is currently, the way that it's currently taxed, costs Americans, what, $2 billion on an annual basis. Yeah. That's not a material amount, given our national debt. That's the way you, that's the slippery slope. Everything is not material, but together, these things end up to be material. And I think that this is just, this is more symbolic. Mm. I mean, it gets down to the issue. I don't want to be holier than thou, but uh, it's not fair. And uh, it's going to hurt me. So I'm really talking against myself. But on the other hand, uh, I'm, I'm willing to be realistic. And Warren Buffett's willing to be realistic. And there are a bunch of people who are willing to speak out. Larry Summers uh, has certainly spoken out on the issue. Uh, it is what it is. Isn't it better to focus on other battles, though? I mean, there are big tech companies that have a lot of cash abroad that perhaps have been accused of point. doing things with uh, subsidiaries around the world that mean they have a far lower tax rate than the guys that pay a, a capital gains tax rather than a higher income tax. Well, well, why can't we do both? I mean, I think there's, I, I'm totally supportive of figuring out some technique for repatriating uh, tax dollars that have not been paid that are uh, earned abroad and, and, and get some of these huge pools back here. And, and I do think that would help the whole infrastructure program if you could do it. And I am very supportive to that uh, concept of, uh, of, of, you know, giving some kind of tax holiday for a period of time to get those funds repatriated and come up with a system going forward that makes sense. Doing it both, giving Congress a lot of credit there in terms of how productive it could be. If there is a repatriation discount or a tax holiday, what would that mean for the pace of mergers and acquisitions in the tech industry? Does that automatically lead to more? Uh, I think it certainly will help. There's no question about that. The question is how much it will be used for buybacks and increasing right. dividends, uh, which is what a lot of people, you know, say that a lot of these tax proposals will end up doing and uh, changing the Volcker rule, changing, changing uh, Dodd-Frank will just give them more of the banks and everyone else more money that they can do stock buybacks and, uh, and pay higher dividends. Yeah, we didn't see much of an impact in 2004 when it happened. Mm, what would the change in the deduction mean for venture investing, though? What would it actually mean for, for investment in Which the... Which deduction? The um, carried interest deduction. Oh, I don't think it make any difference whatsoever. No? I don't, I don't think... When we make investments, we never s stop and consider what's the tax implication. Uh, it just doesn't exist. People make it because we like the company, we like the concept. And the same for an entrepreneur. I've never, ever heard an entrepreneur talk about what his tax status is going to be. They'll do it. I think if you tax them at... 80% an entrepreneur would come out and still do what he wanted to do if he was that passionate about it. 
So very quickly, then it means uh, you're I'm not, not recommending eighty percent, but I'm just <laughs> just throwing it out there. You heard it here first. <laughs> you're not changing the way you do anything based on any kind of expectation on what Congress does or doesn't do when it comes to tax reform. Uh, so far, from what I've read. Uh, uh, no, I, I can't imagine because it, just what I said, people, we invest because we're passionate about ideas and people and the people who run these companies, the entrepreneurs are passionate about their ideas and they want to implement them and that's what affects it. Uh, taxes don't even come to consideration. Remember, the taxes don't get paid till a long, long time till you sell the company. Very quickly, so we have to wrap up, but probability of comprehensive tax reform under this administration? What do you I, give it? I think there's a good possibility. I think that the environment is right for some. Now, what what's going to be part of that? I, I don't know, but I do, I do think whether it's, I don't think it's going to happen necessarily this year because there are too many mm. other things ahead of it. But uh, it's a long list of ac accomplishments that everybody wants to uh, you know achieve this year. I don't think it's going to happen. It'll take a little longer.